Alert now in effect. It is going to be a busy weather weekend. Michelle tracking all sorts of things. Storms, cold temperatures. And Strong on. winds. That's right, that too. Yeah, so uh, the plate is full for you. We, you could go 15 minutes, you said, instead of just your normal three. Yeah, it is a busy weather pattern. A lot to talk about. That doesn't necessarily mean we've got a lot of snow. Right. In the forecast, Patrick, it's all going to be dependent on the track of a storm system that will be passing through our area on Sunday night and Monday. That's our best shot at getting some accumulations uh, today. We've just got some sprinkles and flurries. The bigger story for today are the strong northerly winds that will be uh, developing and they're going to draw in more Arctic air, sending our temperatures tumbling starting later this evening and lasting through uh, Sunday morning. Dangerous wind chills possible late tonight and Saturday morning. And then we've got that snow to rain scenario setting up for Sunday night and on Monday. We do have a little bit of rain right now confined to the outer Cape and Islands. Again, some of this will drift west. So New Bedford may see some light rain showers developing later this morning, even a few sprinkles and flurries along the Rhode Island coastline. Temperatures are well up above freezing for most, including Providence, Newport and New Bedford, all upper 30s. They're lower 30s in Glendale and in Smithfield Coventry right now at 34. Winds not bad at the moment. They'll start to pick up and in the afternoon they'll strengthen with the potential for some gusts over 40 miles per hour. So a windy day highs around 41. Most areas in Rhode Island just are cloudy, but we do have that chance for showers in South southeastern Massachusetts. So storm system out over the ocean going to be passing well offshore, but it becomes a very strong storm and with high pressure building down from the north and west, it's going to generate some strong wind gusts for us. These are the ingredients for the storm system for Sunday night and Monday for our area. They'll turn into quite the winter storm for the eastern US, including again impacts felt around here. As far as any snow accumulations, as I mentioned, could get a little dusting, mainly east of New Bedford, up to an inch possible on the outer Cape. Here's the hour by hour forecast showing the clouds and the risk for some of those light showers to stretch again, mostly towards New Bedford and a few sprinkles in Newport snow winding down this evening from uh, west to east over the outer Cape and the temperatures will start to drop. So we do make it near 40 this afternoon and then by five o'clock in the evening, we're starting to see areas falling below freezing. The skies will be clearing out and those temperatures will tumble into the teens this evening and tonight 16 at 11 o'clock at night and the winds will be adding to that very cold feel with wind chills well below zero Saturday morning temperatures in the single digits and only making it into the middle and upper teens tomorrow afternoon despite lots of sunshine. So here's a look at the winds by noon. They're gusting between 30 and 40 miles per hour. Even stronger as the day goes on five o'clock this evening winds gusting over 40 for places like Taunton, New Bedford, even Newport and Block Island. Look at those wind gusts close to 50 miles per hour, but the strongest winds closer to the center of that ocean storm. So Hyannis, Nantucket gusting 50, 60 miles per hour with this storm system, damaging winds of potential there. Strong winds continue this evening and overnight tonight. Tomorrow morning, it's blustery, but the threat of damaging winds coming to an end is just the wind chill that we'll be dealing with by tomorrow morning. Wind chill advisory inland areas 15 to 20 below for those feel like temperatures. You're really going to start to notice them tumbling this evening. So seven o'clock, you're out and about this evening. Wind chill of around 15 by 11 p.m down to about three degrees and then that wind chill will continue to tumble into the overnight hours tonight with those 15 to 20 below feel like temperatures on Saturday morning. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast for the storm system Sunday night into Monday, starting off with some snow, but changing over to rain. The storm track right now uh, for forecasting some windswept rain for Monday morning and then northern New England could see some significant snow accumulations from that storm. Tuesday looks cold and dry as you head back to work and school.